Hey guys, Fubbleek here today and welcome back to Cities Skylines today again starting off with time lapse It goes to about nine and a half minutes if you want to skip ahead uh, Right here at the beginning doing kind of what we did last episode as well uh, Removing some more level railroad crossings. This one was particularly a nightmare I mean look at the traffic backing up there like this traffic literally never moved it sat there forever and then a truck see what would happen is the traffic would sit there forever then a truck would go to one of the the sort of industry uh buildings there it would sort of park trying to collect from the industry and it would park over the rail so then a train would get stuck behind the truck the truck couldn't move because the train and it was just like oh my god and it kept happening and i'm like this is just so stupid anyway Moral of the story is I have now changed it. It's now elevated instead of being a level crossing. So we've gotten rid of that. That's all good. Also, other great news. Last episode I mentioned, I was like, I needed help with the roads and figuring out the roads. In the end, I actually found there was, um, uh, there was a YouTube tutorial. I will link it uh, down below uh, that teaches you how to sort of get started with roads. Uh, but it was, and that's really, really great. That was super helpful. That tutorial was great. And then there was someone in the comments that helped me the next step. And that person in the comments is a legend. Because uh, they, they made it happen. They made it happen. So you can actually download uh, my new road from the workshop and add it into your game as a custom road. It's pretty cool. It has, you know, the bridge, the elevated, the regular, the tunnel sections. It's all there. All a four lane road. It's pretty great. You'll see it more like we'll get into the live gameplay soon. You'll see it more there. And you I mean, you saw it really briefly just here in the in the time lapse. But uh, there's more of it. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that because that means I can now make custom roads probably like uh, I can do pretty much. Well, OK, I'm look, I'm not a 3D modeler, so I can't make stuff from scratch. Uh, that's just not going to happen. I can I can tell you that now, but I can edit existing roads, which is kind of all I wanted to do anyway. I wanted to edit this four lane uh, avenue road as well. Because I wanted to add in six lanes. I make a six lane version of that road. Because it's like, why Why is that not a... Why does that not exist? So it's like, that's what I want to do. I want to make a six lane version of that road. I also want to make uh, a version of the smaller road that has parking on it. All that kind of stuff. Uh, it'll be great. It'll just be... It'll be good. Because it will be a... Because at the moment, we basically have two roads we can use in our city. We we have uh, just a, a two lane small road and a four lane large road. And it's... It's getting, it's getting old real fast. I feel like we're doing the same roads everywhere. And it's because we are. And it's because any other road that we use in the city looks like it doesn't fit. Because it's a completely different color and texture. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so, so I'd like to try and make a few more roads. Uh, it was damn time consuming. But I think now that I know what I'm doing, it should be a little bit quicker. Like most of the time... I, I spent on the roads was trying to figure out how to make the roads. <laughs> like, literally the hardest bit was trying to figure out how to do it. Uh, which now that I know how to do it, it should be easier. I mean, it's still time consuming. It, it, to be honest, a lot of it is just kind of tedious. Um, but anyway, the point is we can do it, which is really, really great. So I thought I would finally bridge over the river here because I did say I wanted to have a cargo train station over that side of the river. So it was kind of close to where we had that factory in the like, city area there. Like it's still across the bridge, but it's closer than I think probably any of the other cargo stations. Like we have a lot of cargo stations around the city. And uh, something you'll notice, and this is what I mentioned last time as well, in last episode, was, was about the uh, our train traffic just being kind of crazy. We have a lot of trains. Uh, I, again, I mean, that's because we have a lot of stations, so that's going to happen. But uh, I decided to, and we'll get to it soon, I, I decided to try build the train uh, exchange, uh, the regional exchange. I only built one, though. We have two regional connections. I only built it on one of them. Uh, but it already seems to be working. Uh, but anyway, more about that when we get to it. So I thought over this side, I would do some sort of high density uh, residential here along the river. And then as we, and as we get further up this way, it's going to start going to low density. And the further inland we get, the more low density it's going to get as well. So I thought along the river would be sort of more high density stuff. And then I thought I'd also expand the subway network over this side too. I thought this was probably a prime location for it because we are going to be concentrating a lot of people over this side of the uh, the river. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's bring the, the subway line over there. Let's expand it out that way. And actually something that I'm quite happy with in this city is the public transport network. I have actually been keeping up with it. A lot of the time in the cities that I build, I don't tend to keep up with public transport that well uh, at all, especially buses. But I have been doing more bus lines. And the buses are actually being used quite well. Uh, so this area is pretty standard at the moment. Just more sort of housing because we had a lot of residential demand. Uh, but then I actually go ahead and add in, not this. Uh, I don't add that in because it didn't really fit in that area at all anyway. But I add in three, two, what? No, three, 
no there we go the casino right there with a the subway stop i don't know like it seems like such a random place for it but i like that's what i like about the city it is just random it's like it's like they've just sort of built stuff with no regard to you know where it's going to go or how it affects the citizens in the area or anything like that and get and on top of that i was like you know what i want to put some industrial behind this so we're, <laughs> we're gonna get some industrial behind that whatever let's roll with it it'll be good uh so this area has already sort of come to life pretty quickly and that's something that you guys have been saying in the comments down below that the city has been growing pretty quick and as I, I agree um and i was thinking like i i think this might be a shorter series than some of the other ones not because there is um not because i want it to be shorter but i think it might be good to keep the series a little bit shorter because then we could also do more types of cities like uh, i think it's, it's specifically like this is fun and the industries is fun because it's just a dirty gritty city that we're sort of just building up quickly it's it's pretty dense in terms of uh urbanization and it's got industry everywhere and we're also playing with the new industries dlc so that's a lot of fun but then after this we could do something completely different uh again uh with a different map and all that and the problem is when we do like 50 to 100 part series it gets uh it gets old <laughs> and i lose interest and then i end up never finishing the series as as you guys might be aware that I, I sometimes do here on this channel. Uh, I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think about that. I mean, look, we still got we still got quite a way to go with the city. Um, but I don't... Like, the thing is, we're filling up... To be fair, most of the buildable area in this city is in the valley that we're in now. And we filled up quite a lot of it. Like, there's still a bunch... There's still loads of space. Don't get me wrong. But filled up a lot of it. And we could probably fill up a lot of it just by doing grids and stuff everywhere. But, oh, actually, I do want to do the stadium somewhere. Again, somewhere that probably doesn't make sense would be great. <laughs> so just in the middle of like a residential area or something that's not easy to get to. Maybe we just run buses to it or something because like, why do we put it here? I don't know. We just did. Okay, whatever. Oh, actually, the great thing now is because we have uh, the sort of forced zoning and plot the growables, I can actually put in city services without, without it automatically upgrading all these buildings. And I was so happy about that. So I was actually able to provide services without the buildings changing their appearance because I didn't want them to change. I like the dirty level one buildings. They're beautiful. They're beautiful in their own unique way. So I added that bus in uh, just because there was, no, there was no public transport across that bridge and there's kind of a huge gap there in the transport network. So I was like, let's just sort of connect that together with a bus. I didn't want to take the subway back over it again because there's already a subway over that side. So I thought bridging back again was kind of not really make any sense. So I kind of didn't do that. Uh, and then there's just a little bit more zoning through this area, nothing too crazy. And then here is where we're building the train exchange. I originally started off by doing, because uh, I don't have the double track station uh, that we have used in the, in the past, the double track cargo station. And I don't plan on actually getting it again. Like I said, I'm trying to keep this series pretty light on custom assets. Uh, so I'm trying to avoid downloading a bunch of stuff. Even a bunch of mods. Like, it's it's all pretty light. There's not a lot going on in terms of mods or assets. But yeah, I was trying to keep it uh, pretty simple. Anyway, so I started off doing this with two cargo stations. because I was like, oh yeah, we'll pass the cargo between the two stations. That makes sense. And then I was like, wait, hang on. Because uh, obviously left-hand drive, I want the traffic to turn left into the, the cargo station. And then continue on to the next one. So I would want it to have the sort of local drop-off and then the regional one, right? So then the trucks sort of go between the two. I was like trying to position them. And I was like, hang on a second. We have a cargo train station like literally down the road. There's no point in having three cargo train stations in this area. Like it just makes no sense. So I end up getting rid of the second one that's here and just having the one. And that's literally all we need. It wasn't even, this wasn't even as big of a project as I thought it was going to be like building the other rail before was a bigger project. This was just like, oh, cool. All right, we're done. And that is like literally it. We are now done. And I just do like a little road loop here. And I think I changed it into like a little highway road as well. Yeah. And that's it. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the game now. Okay. So now that we're in the actual city, there's a few issues that I said I want to go around and fix hopefully in this part. Uh, namely, like the, I guess one of the main issues is we have this poo river flooding half a city through. Actually, you know what? It's not, it's like this one building here every so often. <laughs> one building every so often not so bad uh and then we also we do still have goods issues over here which i'm not even really sure how like you guys out of everyone are the closest to industry you're surrounded by two giant industrial areas 
I don't even know how they don't have goods. Because literally everywhere else in the city has goods. Except for them. <laughs> like, literally. Uh, and then I also want to start developing our farm a little bit more. Because we've had a 5 star rating on the farm for the longest time. But we haven't built up with it yet. Uh, yeah, we unlocked all this stuff. This is only like level 2 stuff, I think. Or maybe 3. I don't know. we got a bunch of stuff. I think I might want to also... I don't know. Traffic's pretty heavy in here. I, I might want to see if we can make it a little bit better. Uh, and then, oh yeah, so my road, my custom road, is right here, featured in the city. Oh, look how many cars are on this. So this is great. So this is better than the two-lane version, guys. Uh, and I'll show you why soon. But anyway, so here it is in action. Uh, all four lanes of traffic. Look at that. Uh, is actually super useful. I'm super, I'm super happy I was able to figure it out. Uh, so I did actually watch a, a really helpful tutorial that I'll link down below and potentially on screen uh, that helped me get started on roads. It was really informative, super helpful. And then someone down in the comments of that video was able to help me because I was like, I needed to get the, the models for like the bridge and that to be able to edit them. They helped me out, and then I was able to make this road, which you can download from the workshop, which is great. So I'll also leave that link down below. Now, let's... Look at the road. Small in full, small four lane industrial road. All right, so I just, I'm just proud of this, guys. And I spent so long on it, so please indulge me while I show it off. All right, so we have the ground. You know what? Let's do it like this. Ground section. Then we have the... I'm just going to normal mode. Elevated section. Then we have the bridge section. And then we also have the tunnel section. Well, the sloped tunnel entrance section. So this is the road in all its glory. Uh... And it's probably, you probably don't know really what you're looking at right here. So what I'll do is I'll put the original road, which I still intend on using, obviously. But I'll put the original road next to it so you can see the sort of changes that I made. Uh, and why I had to make them. <laughs> because uh, this road, the thing is, this road is like nearly... Like, if you look at this road compared to even... Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. So, small roads, uh, small four-lane roads have existed in, like, network extensions, uh, the mod, for a long time. But, uh, the vanilla roads have always been a little too thin to be able to add in, like, you know, four lanes. You can't really fit it in. Uh, but then when I saw this road that they added in, you can see how much smaller the actual, uh, sidewalks are on it. So, if I get out the industrial road and sort of connect it to this, the actual road itself is much wider, which means there's plenty of room for four lanes of traffic. Like, pretty much each of these slabs could be a lane. Like, there's enough room for that. So that's what gave me the initial idea. It's like, why wouldn't I just turn this into a four-lane road? So I started doing that. But then, uh, what I had to do, and you'll notice here, so basically, in the original road, the elevated section gets a little bit thinner, as you can see. So that means there's less room here for four lanes. And then the bridge gets a little bit thinner again, so there's even less room on the bridge. And then the tunnel also gets quite a bit thinner as well. So what I went, went ahead and did is widened all of these. So you can see that road is now much wider. There's no pavement going down there. So pedestrians cannot walk through this tunnel on my road. I think they can on this one, but uh, heads up, you can't on mine. Because, I mean, whatever, you don't need to walk through a tunnel anyway. Then I widened the roadway here on the elevated section as well. And then also widened it here on the bridge. And obviously you can see I added in the uh, sort of double white line. And then obviously the four lanes of traffic. Because uh, I wanted to add in the white line because if I didn't, it's actually really hard to tell the roads apart. Especially from a distance if you're sort of just looking around the city. It's like you can't really tell. So that helps a little bit uh, with that. And I also, the bridge is actually physically widened a little bit uh, compared to that one. Also, it doesn't have the transparency bits there, which I only just realized. Huh. I can probably fix that. Didn't realize that until literally just this second. I guess I probably should have put them side by side earlier. Anyway, other than that, that, that that's actually just a texture fix, so that should be pretty easy to do. Anyway, <laughs> so that's wide. But you can see the, the, the sort of sidewalk here on the bridge is really small, but I do still allow pedestrians to walk on that. Because they can fit in there. Like, if we have a look over here at this bridge, which is one of our most popular ones. So this is uh, a four-lane bridge in action as well. You can see the people sort of just stick to the sides there. They sometimes walk on the road a little bit. Which, I mean, there's so many people walking on this, so I'm not surprised that they do, but it works perfectly fine. Other than the fact that the bridge has not got the transparent bits, which I apologize for, but uh, hopefully you should be able to fix that. 
I don't know about updating it on the workshop though, because I feel like that sometimes breaks and maybe we just don't. I mean, it's not, a, it's not really a big issue, to be honest, so whatever. Right, so that's that. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that. Pretty happy with it. Uh, it's all good. And then we got the cargo exchange here, which you can see is working. Working really, really well, actually, so we don't need really to look at that. Anyway, farm time. So farm. Uh, hmm. We got a lot of people coming in here. From this one. I think we should probably... Uh, well, I want to branch out because we don't need to be all in this like little section just here. So let's go. I guess we'll go here. Uh, I don't want to ruin this though. Like the little bit of, I don't know. I just like the little bit of landscaping. That's all right, actually. We'll do that. Okay. So this is just going to be another way into the farm area. Uh, let me turn off uh, anarchy, actually. We don't need that on. So this will come in here. So this is going to be a paved road. As you, I mean, quite plainly tell. But if, you get, if this is going to be a heavily trafficked sort of main-ish road for the farm area, it should probably be paved. So then this can come along and join up to it. And then we're going to go down this way. And I'm not really sure what we're going to do from here. So let's figure out what we can actually do. So we've unlocked everything for farms. Uh, so we've got the main building. We've got the barracks, which I already have a bunch of. We have... I don't think we have a maintenance building. I think that's new from our unlocks. I might put it here on this little corner. It's a nice little spot. So this is going to go here. Oops, let me turn off snapping. So that will go in this little corner there. Uh, storage efficiency, 103%. How? That makes no sense. Uh, we'll power this up when we join it together, so we'll not worry about that just yet. Uh, oh, it's already got water. Cool. So that's going to go there. Uh, then we've unlocked, obviously, the larger crop fields as well. Which are basically four times the size of the small ones. The small one is there. This is four times that size, so pretty big. Uh, we could even get this here. Actually, how big are the small ones? The small one is like this. So then if we put the large one there behind it, then we get some small ones there. So let's go for potatoes. And then over here we can go for... Uh, not potatoes again. Corn? You know what? Maybe a greenhouse. Let's do a greenhouse because I haven't done any of those yet. Let's do a greenhouse there and then I'll get some small... Oh, actually, can I get a medium one? Oh, I can't fit medium. I should have just done that. Uh, you know what? Bugger off. Go over there. I, I want to keep the greenhouse, but I also... If we can get this to fit in here, I will. Absolutely. And that can go there. Then this can be wheat. And then maybe here we can get some silos for storage. Because you know me, we, we need more silos. Why can't I build on the grid? Like, I want to just build where that grid is. It doesn't seem to let me. It doesn't seem to like me doing that. Go there. Because then I then I can sort of just put stuff on the... Ah, oh, Albert Drive. It seems a little unnecessary to call this road a drive. You know what I mean? Uh, so let's get... Uh, what do we... Cattle shed? No, we don't want those. We want a barn. A large barn. Actually, it's maybe a little too large. Didn't quite fit. There we go. Now it does. So we got a storage barn there. Uh, you know what? I probably shouldn't put silos on that road. Uh, be oh my god. Because of that. That's... <laughs> it just magnetizes all traffic. It's like, game, send all vehicles here. Uh, I'm going to set these up to fill. Because you guys said storage usually works better as fill. Oh, you know what this could benefit from? Four lane roads. My custom roads. Oh, yeah. Get some more turning lanes in here. Uh, these also add traffic lights, which I don't actually always want. So I might... Especially not really there. That seems under... I'll keep it here, though, because this is off the highway. Actually, no, it's not. But it's like a main sort of road, so I <laughs> will keep it there. It's an entrance to the highway, so it's probably good to have traffic lights there. Um, you know what? It might be nice to have like a little slip lane there. But it... <sighs> The problem with doing slip lanes in this game is they never look good, you know what I mean? Like, they... because they create intersection... You know what, let's not do it. Let's just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, this area is coming to life. That's good. Uh... You know what? That's not attracting too much traffic now. You guys were right. Uh, once it's filled, it's probably good. Oh my god, these silos are much bigger than the other ones. You know what? It's a perfect spot for them. So these are actually on the main... well, the main road. No, it's not really a main road, but whatever. So then here, oh my god, yep, here comes all the traffic. <laughs> here it comes. Alright, let's go fill on these as well. I guess we'll set most of these to fill. So I, I moved them around, if you remember, because I figured better than having them all focused in one spot. Uh, okay, oh, there's one over here too. 
I mean, we can. I'm pretty sure we can put storage anywhere. Oh my god, storage anywhere in the city that we want to. Like it doesn't have to be, you know, here in this area. Uh, slaughterhouse. Oh, I think this is new. I don't think we actually have this. Now, actually, does this cause ground pollution? It. No, it doesn't. It just gives it work. Uh. Does this have to be in a farm, or can this be somewhere else? No, no, it has to be an industry area. I guess I'll go here somewhere. Probably just on this road. I didn't, I didn't really want to put it here, but I guess I am. So whatever. So this is going to produce animal products. Uh, oh, we should probably get some more animals. We have barely any. I assume that we need actual animals to be able to do anything with animals. That would, to me, make sense. We've got two large animal fields. We go sheep, and then I don't think we have highland cow. Uh, no, we have sheep. Let's do pigs. There you go. So those, those will go there. Let's come out this way. I wonder if we can fit some other stuff in these little areas. Otherwise, we might just start doing some trees around some areas. Uh, oh, we haven't really done much fruit in a while, have we? Oh, we can get that in. That'll fit. Oh, this fits here too. And there. And there. Why would you choose greenhouses for these? Uh, I'll do oranges. I'm going to change these both to pears. It's really a little steep for that, but whatever. And then this can be apples. Yeah, I think we need to do some trees in between these because they look a little weird. Especially in these little triangle areas. Uh, okay, so we got... Oh, this takes crops? And, wait, what? Modern solar houses are hygienic for... Oh, I guess are we... Raising the animals in here. Oh, okay. Because I was like, why are we turning crops into animal products? <laughs> I was like, that doesn't make sense. But I guess it's kind of the same as these fields. Uh, same sort of thing. Now, I wonder if we need another flour mill. Dude, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess. I mean, like, why not? You know what I mean? Cattle shed. What does a cattle shed do? Production rate. Processes, uh, no, hang on. It processes. I think it's the same as the other ones, just not as good. Milking shed. I think we kind of, I guess we kind of have everything that we need. I'm going to get another little barn. A little barn over here. I don't know. I like barns. Um, barns are noble. <laughs> oh, that's looking pretty good. I mean, I'd like it to take up more area, but that's probably, that's probably fine for now. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, the forestry industry. You know what? I want to move this forestry stuff because now it seems kind of weird. It's between these two train hubs. Uh, so let's keep all the, the industry on this side. Let's move it over there. So we're going to go for a road. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. George is not at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I think that's how it goes, roughly. All right, so let's move these. We're going to move biomass pellet plant to there. And we'll move the other one. Oops. Oops. How do I keep missing that button? Move the other one to there. It's literally going to be opposite each other right there. Then we've got these storage facilities. So we're going to move these as well. Wait, what? I can't move these? Oh, maybe because it has stuff in it. I think I need to empty them. Or I can just probably delete them. I assume because I have products in them, so I can't move them. Which I guess makes sense. But it's also annoying, so screw you. Uh, I think we have la oh, we have a large log yard. We have a sort of storage. So this uh, storage can be placed inside. Oh, large storage yard for storing. It just says raw for forest products. So I assume we can store anything in it. Uh, actually, we could just... You know what, I guess we could probably just keep these here then. You know what, keep them here. Phil, I might... I don't like how they're... You know what, actually keep emptying this one. Fill this one. And then we'll move this one over to that side. Because it'll just be a bit nicer. Right, so this is going to be... We'll fill it. Uh, a nice little storage yard there. What else can we do? Actually, what do we need to do to level... What do we need to do to level this place up? Uh, we need to... So we're all for our products are making paper and plain timber. We need to produce... Okay, we've made enough resources. We need more employees. We just need more stuff, really. So let's go ahead and do... Do we know this? We can do another sawmill. Let's get... Wait. There's a sawmill right there, isn't it? Yeah. Then we have one over here, too. 
Do I want another sawmill? I mean, we can do another. You know what? You know what? Yeah. Yeah, I do want another sawmill. Let me turn off Anarchy, actually, so I can see where I can actually place this. All right, so that's going to go there. And then let's also just get more, uh, I guess, little plantations of small sapling fields. Be good when we actually get larger sized fields. Field. Greenhouse. No, do fields. I assume fields do the same thing. Oh, we got two greenhouses over there anyway. Okay. So that should be producing, I assume, more than before in terms of raw products. Uh, which I guess we'll be making more planed timber as well. Should we get another paper? I feel like these things are slow. Like, like we, ha I think we have enough stuff, but it just doesn't seem to produce that much. Look at that road there. I think maybe we should do another one. Especially just because, there you go, there's three of them. Because we're using it up here, we're using paper and plain timber there, and then we're also using paper, I think, over in this one too. Oh, that's actually filled with paper for once. We don't have enough flour for once. Dude, that's what, I, that's what I'm talking about. I think we need more flour. I reckon we need more flour. Let's get another uh, little flour mill. Is that what it's called? I don't even know. Yeah, it is a flour mill. Nice. Okay, we've got a flour mill there, start producing more, and then let's also just get larger crop fields. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Can we fit the small ones in here? Can we fit the medium? Oh, we can. There we go here, wheat. I guess wheat makes sense for this area. You know what, I will do a greenhouse there. We'll get a bunch of greenhouses, why not? 15,000 units. Uh, that's probably probably a lot of units. Alright, so that's going to take crops and it should do well. This area is just getting more and more traffic because people want to come to the farms because the farms are amazing. We're going to produce more flour for this guy over here. Uh, plastics are still good. Animal products are good. Flowers are pretty low. Over here, I would like a plastic storage facility here because we, we never actually got around to that. We, uh, <laughs> we sort of like, we're like, hey, we got a, uh, sweet ass, uh, toy factory that doesn't have everything we need yet. Um, I guess I'll do it over here. Let me do this. Can I, can it fit in there? I don't think I left enough room because I want to put it here. Oh, it's so close. So I'll just do it with, uh, anarchy and then. I will move it slightly. Not even that I need to, because I guess it was going to be fine anyway. Right, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to lower it down to that height, because I don't really want it raised up. Now, this is going to be fill, and it's going to be for plastics. And that should be everything we need. Uh, so paper, plain timber, plastics. Good. Paper is empty. Right, so we got all the little storage here for that factory. Let me get another factory out of here. I, I, like, I love these factories. They're cool. What else can we do? There's a bunch of them, which is really, really cool. I'm happy about that. A furniture factory. Ooh, yeah, let's start making furniture. Maybe over here. We got a big space over here. And I think, I feel like this is just the kind of place. Like I said, where I, like, I want it to be like poorly planned. <laughs> like it makes no sense. I wonder if we could get a stadium here by the furniture factory. I mean, this area could be cool for a stadium. Maybe over this side, on the other side of this key. All right, what do we need? Plain timber and paint. Oh my God, everything is Paper and timber, which I guess makes uh, that makes a lot of sense. It's a furniture, furniture factory. Let's get medium warehouses for this one. So let's get a medium warehouse here. So it's going to be fill, and it's going to be for paper. I guess we could probably do other factories around here that also use these. Another you know, medium one. If I put it, if I put a medium one here, then move this a little bit. Uh, that's the next to each other. Yeah, nice. Alright, so it's feel so what was that? That was paper. This is gonna be plain timber. I'm yelling timber. There we go. Nice. So that's gonna go there. So that will start functioning. You know what? I wanna move that because I'd like it to line up with the other one. Actually, you know what? I'll just do this. I don't know, visually I feel like the buildings should line up if they look the same. That doesn't even line up. <laughs> it's like, that doesn't even line up. There we go. Lovely. Hey, looking good. All right, so then that's that. So that'll start doing stuff too. 
Uh, I guess they'll explode up over there. I guess let's get some buildings around this, because uh, it looks a little empty through here. Especially through this bit. Road. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go road. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. There we go. Let's get this road here. Do that, and then maybe... Harris Street. There we go. Okay, let's just do that. Uh, I feel like... Do offices back here, maybe. Just do that, and then... Yeah, I don't- this is not exactly a, uh, you know what, actually, hang on. Let's do something that I haven't even done yet. Oh, I don't even have find it. No, never mind. I need find it. <laughs> I thought I had it. Never mind. I was gonna say, I'm gonna choose the exact buildings I wanna place down. I'm gonna place them. Cause I got plop the growables, but I do have the mod, but you also need find it to make that work. So, whoops. Okay, fine. I'm just, Cause I just want like little, um, these kind of things that don't really have huge smokestacks. So hopefully that kind of stuff will zone here. Um, well, I mean, look, we'll see what we get. We can always delete stuff that we don't like. Okay, cool. Looking good. Right, so here along the main road, I wouldn't mind getting some sort of high-density commercial. Even a good spot to sort of sell that kind of stuff. All right, so then... Oh, that's a good building. I like that one. Let's get this road here. This can come along. Uh, can we go, like, straight down-ish? Don't think that there's a, um... Actually, we might be able to sort of force a 90 degree. Oh, here we go. If I hold down Alt... Oh, damn it. No, don't snap. Let's try to snap to that point there. Which is annoying, because it's like, it's like moving so smoothly, and then it's like... Come on, mate. Control, Alt, Shift, I don't know, hold every button. No, I don't know, it's not... <laughs> I want it to be straight straight along to this, but no, it's not quite there, is it? Do I just move that node out of the way? Get out of there! Get out of town! Wait, how is it still snapping to that point? Oh, because that's 90 degrees. Ah, uh, that's annoying. That is actually annoying. I guess it's not going to be 90 degrees then. It's going to be whatever the hell I say it's going to be. It's going to be 88.5 degrees. Deal with it. And then this can come through the middle. So that's like a perfect fit. Look at that. Now, what other factories do we have? I don't know. I don't want to, I don't want to blow my wad on all these factories right now. Household plastics. It's like a small one. Whoa. Hello. This one's cool. Lemonade factory is huge. Ooh, where do we do this? We got to do this somewhere. Where should, where should we do a lemonade factory? This has got to be like a factory. I, I don't want- I think we need to plan something for this. Look at this place. That's cool. Alright, I was looking for the smaller ones. Uh, well, I mean, they don't, have, they don't have to be that small. They're like, that would be pretty cool. Along here. I don't know if I want to put them all in this area. Like, I just kind of feel like this- Oh, this is cool. I just feel like this area should have... Some factories. It seems like a factory kind of location, you know? You know what I mean? You know what? Nah, what I mean? Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, we're going to move this down like that until it sort of fits with that side road, which is there. So what does this require? Paper? No surprises there. <laughs> Crops? Petroleum? Uh... Which I guess we have as well, don't we? Plastics, we have paper crop. Okay, so we have all that stuff. And we also have paper... Uh, mm. It's not exactly convenient to get... Oh, we could do a road here. Hang on. If we move this point to there, get a tiny, tiny little alleyway through here. I don't, don't, no, no collision. Oh, actually, those buildings won't destroy either, because we got the uh, mod on, which is great. Put that there like that as well, so it's sort of come on. Right, so then, that means you can get the paper from here, just bring it over to here. We don't need any plain timber, though, do we? So we need petroleum, uh, crops, a bunch of stuff. So... Uh, can we get some more warehouses? I guess we could get, like, little yards. Uh, yards suck though. 
<laughs> Yards suck. Can we get a giant warehouse? No, probably shouldn't. Small warehouses is probably what we want. So to intersect that one a little bit, maybe. Oops. Not much. I was trying to bring it down this way to the. Okay. So we need fill, and this is going to be, I guess, petroleum? Because we need that. What a weird place to store petroleum. Anyway, that'll go there. Uh, then we're going to need. And the only problem with putting these here is they sort of take up space from the main road. So we can't really zone there, which I didn't really want. That's why I wanted to sort of... Let's keep, we can keep it at the back over here, maybe. Which is what I'll do. Gee, go away. Uh, let's move this back. Hang on. Snapping on. Oh. Oh, there we go. They don't, I was like, why is it not snapping to that point there? Can you not like snap to both at the same time? I guess not. <laughs> it's like, I, I guess not. Uh, and then we can come along this way. Right, so I'll go there. That's all good. Uh, so we're going to go for a little warehouse. I, I don't want to use the same warehouses everywhere though, is the thing. So maybe if we use this and then... Sort of rotate a little bit so it's not... You know... So it sort of lines up with that road. There you go. Uh, do you reckon this... I mean, I, I assume it uses all this stuff evenly. But whatever. So it's going to fill with... Let's go plastics. Oh, if we do some more plastics factories nearby, that could be useful. We should really do some bridges over this at some point. Like through some of these roads. I haven't done them yet just because I guess there's no point. It's not going anywhere. I love the look of these giant buildings. It looks so good. It looks so much better than having... Loads of tiny buildings everywhere. I think this area looks pretty cool. Like, it's it's an industrial area, but it's a little bit... It's like a cleaner industrial. Like, I think it still pollutes. Well, actually, those do. Like, the factories do a little bit, but not a huge amount. Um, okay, so we've got... Oh, uh, so we've got petroleum, plastics, and then paper was over here, isn't it? So, pa actually... Yeah, yeah, paper's there. Okay, and then we need crops. That's how you have to say it. Crops. Maybe we can get... Hmm. So just do it over here. We'll do a smaller one here too. Okay, so this will be for... Oh, actually... You know what? I guess we have to do a silo, maybe. No, that's not where you store crops. Where do you store crops? Because that's storage... Oh, yeah, crops. It is totally silos. Okay. We need silos here. Interesting. Um, they can kind of fit along here, actually. Let's get two of them. Whoops. Does that come with the tree? No, the tree. I was like, why does that come with the tree? It doesn't. <laughs> For one. <laughs> All right, so we're going to fill these. I'm going to fill these. So we got a couple of silos. Looking good. Well, not a couple. There's four of them. Four silos, looking good. Actually, you know what? I don't want to put them there because I might put a bridge there later on. Oh, hang on. Whoops. Hang on. Hold up. Flip them. Do they fit here? Mm, it's overlapping a bit much, isn't it? Oh. It is, I mean, it's not too bad. But if we move this road out a little... Hang on. Move this road out a little bit more. Give us more to play with, for sure. There you go, let's do that, and then we can move these down a little bit further. Turn off snapping, rotate onto this road, they go here. Then that gives us room to do a bridge or whatever else later too, cool. Alright, so those will eventually fill up, I assume. I don't know how, whoops. Don't know how long that will take, because it has to come all the way from the farm. But that's why we're going to have storage here, so it's actually on site. So, we've got the petroleum storage there, we have... Are we... I assume we're producing petroleum, right? I can't remember what... That's the problem, I can't remember what we've done here. So, I'm just making plastics. This is making oil. Maybe we're not making petroleum, I don't remember. Or is... wait. Hang on, I'm confused. Or does this just... is petroleum just what we... No, we get... Oil, hang on. I'm very confused. Crude oil. No, this is a storage. Yeah, so we get crude oil, and then I think we're. 
So we we're processing someone. No, that just gets, wait, maybe we're not. Hang on. <laughs> Hold up. Okay. Uh, petroleum. I swear we have a... Uh, the oil sludge petrolo py pyrolysis? Pyrolysis? Sounds about right. Petrochemical. Plastic. Waste oil refining. Building which require oil to produce special goods. Petroleum produces building. Place oh, it was tiny. Uh, I don't really want to put it over there, but we got so much space. Actually, we got a little bit of. I don't know. So there's a little bit of space along the waterfront, but we don't. There's some space here. I think that's not really zoned, from what I can tell, in this view, which is not much. Well, those, and then cracker makes plastics. Wait, so what was the other thing that makes, um, so that's plastic. And then this makes petroleum as well. I swear we have these somewhere. So how much does this make? This makes, oh, the, I was hoping it was going to tell me a actual amount. Did we not? No, hang on. It must be right here. Yeah, yeah, no, we're totally making it. Okay, okay. Yeah, good. I thought I thought so. I just don't. I couldn't see. It. I thought it was a bigger building. I assume that this one produces more. I probably should have just checked that. Wait. So this produces four thousand units a week. Offshore oh, sure, oil drilling. See, that's what I want to use, like the drilling rigs and all that. It'd be really cool. Yeah. So then this one makes eight thousand units a week. So then why would I use the, the worst one? I don't know. Oil sludge. Store no, I don't know why I said sludge, but <laughs> oil sludge storage. I mean, I guess we shouldn't use crappier ones, should we? I don't know, but we are, so whatever. Cool! <laughs> cool! So over here, this is slowly- we're still waiting for- oh, here come all the crops. Here come all the crops. <laughs> all my trucks. Yeah, I was gonna say, we're still waiting for crops and then that's gonna get going. How's my furniture factory doing? Good, actually. It's making some money. Uh, so this is my sneaker factory. Make them sneaks. Okay, so here, along this road, let's do some uh, commercial. Some lower density, do some mid, or I like sort of mid density. Just trying to sort of mix it all. Uh, around the back here, I think we'll do like offices. Because it's an industrial area, so it seems to make sense. <laughs> all this stupid, um... <sighs> what are you doing? This guy's just blocking everyone. Uh, there's just so much traffic to try and get to it. So like the AI doesn't even know how to like get out of the way of itself. It's like it it gets there eventually. They're filling up though, which is good. Halfway full on both of these, so that should that should settle down soon. <laughs> oh man, we didn't have enough products. We didn't have enough crop for these guys. Surely we have. Yeah, we have loads stored. What are you talking about? Alright, I'm gonna leave this part here. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I think this factory area looks sweet. Like, I think that looks cool. I think we could do the stadium over here. And we don't have a train line here. Uh, like, obviously we have the cargo line, but I don't think I'm gonna bother trying to get a passenger line over here, because I already rebuilt this one, so I don't want to do it again. Uh, but we do have the subway line over here, so we can always do a subway branch. Coming out this way and then get the stadium here or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below or any other suggestions. Uh, probably still need to do a bit more on the farm. We could probably... We still need to... What, this, what is it, these goods issues? How do these have... There's got to be some other issue here that's preventing them from getting goods. Uh, and I think... Uh, we should do more ore industry stuff too. I've done a lot of that. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. And have an awesome day.